Okay, my video blog, Quinn Horsemanship and Therapy. Today I had a very interesting um, morning. One of the horses I'm working on in as um, Quinn Horsemanship kind of work as well as the body work therapy in between if necessary. One of them had sarco sarcoids removed. One of the little herd. Um, the ointments as body workers I'm not allowed to promote or diagnose well, I don't know if I would use the word not allowed um, it is recommended that we well no we're not meant to diagnose the diagnosis that's the difference between a vet um, a chiropractor and a physiotherapist well okay, I'll have to take the physiotherapist one and uh, thought and research but definitely doctor and chiro they were allowed to diagnose, vet, um, and body workers are not. We have to work in conjunction with them if it's a veterinary issue. If the work is um, just on massaging and sport related and it's a sound horse, then we can work. Uh, the minute we come across something that needs a diagnosis, we have to refer to uh, one of the above. Needless to say, there is a vet that's now the, the one. The one horse has had the sarcoids removed, and as per normal, and this is just a, putting it out there. I've yet to see stitches in the chest of a horse hold um, long enough for the uh, body to heal. Uh, I do believe I'm going to make the statement boldly. That horrendous purple spray that's got a fly spray in it is really terrible for the new baby tissues that are trying to grow from inside out. The aquamarine one is much better but still also very astringent to the new baby tissues trying to grow. I mean you can think of the new cells trying to develop and then having this zzz, oh, harsh stuff sprayed on the outside. Anyway, let me not go off on that point. What I wanted to mention, which is now taking myself down a peg or two, um, Agrisolf, that's the orange sticky ointment, and then the magic, wound magic. Now wound magic is like really sticky, gross, but I, I, I can only um, raw, raw, raw wound magic as well as Agrisolf. When I'm getting to the horse's chest, he's got two wounds, and I need to put the Agrisolf on. Uh-oh, I suddenly remembered I'm queasy and can't do open wounds. Well, I thought I could. I tried to make myself because I'm trying to um, be more aff affirmative, assertive, yes kind of personality. And if you can change a personality, we'll have to speak to my sister who does NLP life coaching. If it's personality or if it's a learned behavior, behavioral personality. Needless to say, I tried more than once. I bent down, looked at the open wound, felt the nausea. Anyway, the owner of the horse then put it on quite boldly and I was getting more and more nauseous. <clears throat> but awesomeness, the wound is closed at this stage. Um, he'll keep doing it, hopefully. Whoops. Twice a day. I must just show puddle that I nearly slipped in. That was the oops. Let's film it. Um, there's the puddle after a hectic bit of rain. Big puddle. Anyway, I slipped in that. Uh, closing. The reason why I'm not filming openly here is simply because I need to... I'm so wary of being out of line forming and putting on YouTube areas without permission but this is how much rain we've had yeah lovely it's raining now still right um, so my um, sending work today with a beautiful little white pony well she's a horse but she always makes me think of a pony um, sending work with her today was brilliant um, there's an um please forgive was brilliant today, sent her through a very tight narrow space almost with her sides rubbing, gorgeous. 
um, cantering on the um, mirroring my canter motion, which is on that um, skip skip with your legs. It's beautiful. Uh, when I'm confident, I'll form that and post it on my Quinn Horsemanship Therapy uh, page. Um, what else did I want to say? It is raining, so we both got wet. I just love being out in the countryside. Is it not such a blessing? Eh? After really blessing to be out in the countryside, there's... Um, now I'm actually going to put the picture of the clean horse on. Here we go. Going to the side. There she is. Where, there she's grazing. Anyway, sending was awesome. Um... She often runs away from me when I let her out for a bit to graze freely. We'll see if she does. Uh, yeah, so the end of the year is nigh. Uh, tomorrow we're actually going to do some free jumping. Uh, keeping her going while her little owner is on holiday. Um, very exciting about that. She's... Um, developing her neck muscles and she just overall is um, it's nice to work with with horses it's so nice to work with horses yeah okay well this is so till next time